Hey everybody, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Happy Saturday to you. We're Facebook Live tonight and I'm so happy to be here with you for day 380 of our Be Creative series. So I'm your photo guru. We're going to do some fun in the house, easy to do photo project tonight. I think it's going to be exciting. I think you're going to like it. Is anybody out there? If you're out there, can I get a Wahoo, a Yahoo, an emoji, a something? Let me know you're alive. If you've got questions, Cheryl is manning the questions. She'll relay them to me and I'll answer them for you. So let's get going here. Are we? Is anybody out there, Cheryl? Stephen Weiss says, Happy Passover. Oh, hey, Stephen. How Gary are you? Gary Brainard says, Hello. Gary's out there. Awesome. Kelly Fricks is now watching. Hey, Kelly. How are you? All right. So what we're going to do is come take a look, Cheryl. We got these parts in the camera store today, and it's parts of a broken movie projector. And I just thought they looked so cool and just this beautiful mechanism and I had to photograph tonight. So if you pull back, what you'll see here is I have the 105 macro lens on the Nikon Z7 and I've got this nice composition here going with the circles and then the background. So this is shot with the house lights. I'm in manual exposure F22 at 10 seconds. So the expo exposure is going to be 10 seconds here. So we have to wait 10 seconds for the picture to go. And because we're standing on the floor, we have to hold still because if we wiggle, the tripod will wiggle and the camera will wiggle. So there's the picture. Oh my gosh. There's too much space here. I, I think there's too much going on in the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to live. On my Z7 II, I'm going to hit the no display. And using the ProMaster Dovetail Macro Slider, I'm going to actually just push in. And one of the things I love about using the macro slider with the macro lens, ah, I didn't mean to take that picture. Let's look at that composition. Well, that's a lot better. It's a lot tighter. We're in manual focus because what we're going to do tonight requires manual focus. And you can see focus peaking. Look right there. Can you see the little red flashing Cheryl right there on the phone? Mm -hmm. Yep, that means it's in focus because I'm using focus peaking one of the powerful tools we have on today's mirrorless cameras. I'm actually going to raise, I'm going to push in a little bit more and I'm going to raise up just a titch here. Just like that. And we're just doing some careful composition here. I'm going to recheck the focus here, right there. Focus peaking is good. I'm going to shoot again. So once again, 10 seconds at F22, ISO 100. And what are we using? We're just using the overhead lights here in the dining room to do this shot. Now remember, image stabilization or, or vibration reduction is turned off. There's the photo, right? And it's a nice looking photo. I like the look of that. But we're gonna have some fun with it. And what are we gonna have some fun with? We're gonna have some fun with some, with some flashlights. And so I have a bunch of these little flashlights. I have them in all my camera bags. It's just a tiny little LED flashlight. And we're going to use those tonight to help us make our picture. So with my LED flashlight, I have some photo gels. And these are the gels that we use on our flashes when we're doing creative flash photography. And I have a ponytail hair ribbon. Is that what this is called, Cheryl? Is that a good call for this? Yes. So I like these instead of regular rubber bands because they hold tighter. So what am I doing? I'm putting this orange gel. And why am I using an orange gel? Because it's an LED light. The light's going to be very blue. So now this light is going to have an orange tinge to it. I'm going to set this down. I have a similar flashlight prepared with red. Right? And I'm going to use that red. And I've got a little adapter thing here just to raise it up a little bit. Right? Right about... There is where I want it. Can I see that red in the picture? Yes, it's going to give some nice red. And on this side, I have a blue, right? A little bit bigger flashlight because I want a little bit more light from the blue. Why? Because the blue gel has more density than the red does. So I need a little bit stronger flashlight to get the same amount of light out of it. So I'm going to turn out the house lights. So the house lights are now zero. 
and the only light in the scene are the flashlights. So I've got the permanent flashlights here, and I'm going to shoot. Come, come look at this, Cheryl. Hold on a second. We've got 10 seconds to go. So they can look at me during that 10 seconds. Ooh, I got some nice Halloween lighting on me here. And so 10 seconds is the exposure. So you can look at the exposure here with just the blue light and the red light. Is that cool? I love it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some light painting. So a lot of you asked me, Mark, what is this light painting thing? You said we have a workshop coming up with that with Katrina Brown and what is light painting? Well, you saw on the day 365 we did light painting. So tonight we're going to do small light painting with just a flashlight. So four seconds out of the 10 seconds, I put the orange light in there. And look at that. Isn't that cool? I think it's a little bit bright. So what am I going to do? I'm going to back off a little bit. One second, two seconds, three seconds. So three seconds now out of the 10. ISO 100 F22 for 10 seconds. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So we're going to do it again. And now we're going to try it from the side. So one, two, three. See how I flew the light in that time? So a little bit different effect on the light. Oh yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna fly the light in again, but we're gonna come in from the top. One, two, three. So why do we need 10 seconds? We need 10 seconds so that we can do the painting. So it's, oh, look at that, isn't that cool? We're gonna do that one again. A little bit too dark. Just a little flare extra, right? And the great thing about these light painting pictures is they are all individual effects. Wow, look at that. Very cool. I'm going to do one more here. I like that down angle. That was very cool. A little bit longer that time, about five seconds this time. So we're just playing with the light. Oh yeah, isn't that cool? And what have I done, right? I'm using flashlights, I'm using lights we all have. Now you know, gang, we have a camera store, we like to sell you all this fancy equipment, but sometimes it's fun just to play with what we've got around the house, right? No, I don't like that one as well because the light was coming too straight in. So here we go. We're going to do it again. We're going to come down from the top. That top was the best. <laughs> Got to have the sound effects too, guys. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So does anybody have any questions? Cheryl, are there any questions out there? I can't tell because I don't have my glasses. Here, you want to borrow mine? There you go. Thank you. You can wear my glasses. So come on over. You can you can come in on me here. Someone would like to see you and Huel Hauser together. Well, no, because that means I'd have to be dead like Huel Hauser is. I'm Suzette, sorry. Suzette Allen says each take looks better. <laughs> and Karen Breckel says, uh, Jim, that would be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how's everybody else doing tonight? You guys having some fun? So we've been going about eight minutes. Um, does anybody else have any questions? All right. So I want to wrap it up. I want you to see. Look what we did here tonight, gang. This was fun. Light painting. Light. Can take a look, Cheryl. Look at that. Look at that light painting fun. Right. Go ahead and show them the setup again real quick. So we had one, two, two flashlights with the red and a blue and one with the orange very simple setup and these are like you know you know the flashlights you can buy at Home Depot for five dollars so nothing really expensive or fancy here tonight just a lot of fun and some creativity because gang that's what the Be Creative series is all about 380 days I can't wait to see you all Join us when we do fun stuff like this in classes at Creative Photo Academy. Whether that's travel or macro or boot camp or intermediate or advanced and it's all fun stuff, 
you know, I can't wait. And watch your email the first week in April. There's going to be some fun stuff starting April 1st. We're launching Photo Walks, Nighthawks, and Adventures again. I know it's supposed to be a secret, but I had to tell you tonight. <laughs> So that's wondering when our class on light painting is coming up. Light painting class we have. So Katrina Brown is doing light painting in Paul's photo the middle of April. And then we're doing a trip to Joshua Tree, Death Valley, and Salton Sea with Katrina Brown as well. So those are all on the Creative Photo Academy website. You can look at those. And it's great to see you guys. Happy Saturday. Be safe. Have fun. Take pictures. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Be Creative.